Okay, let's go. Tenderizer damage went all the way up to 95. Like, for example, normal, normal uh, Liberator, 60. Exact changes to the Tenderizer. Increased projectile damage against durable body parts from 10% to 17%. Decreased ammo capacity from 35 to 30. Decreased number of magazines from 10 to 8. Increased stagger strength, which is why it should be really good at clearing. <laughs> and we got... We only have enemies that have a uh, medium armor in front of us. Bro, that, that killed him fast, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, well, you can clearly see the damage increase, right? Clearly see the damage increase. That's very obvious at this point. Like, it's almost like you barely touch the hunters and they're dead. We're actually going to take a look at how many bullets it takes. We're going to stun these guys here. Two bullets. Literally two bullets for a hunter, for example. Okay. That's pretty nice. One bullet for, for these guys. Let's take a look at the big guy. going to stun him. Seven, eight, nine. Nine bullets to take his head off is pretty cool. The only thing now that this weapon probably is... That would make it better is actual amount of shots you get per magazine. But yeah, it definitely clears enemies much easier now. <laughs> yeah, the difference is night and day. That's for sure. We got to take a look at the charger as well. I do want to do that. But as you guys can see, the ammo just runs out so fast. Like even these guys, if you shoot them between the armor, easy kills. Uh, but the fact that it feels so much better already, I feel like all the weapons that only have light penetrating should be like this. This is how they should feel. There should be a difference between a weapon that only has light penetrating because that's what it should be good at, right? It shouldn't be like every weapon that had medium uh, armor penetration also was better at light armor kills, right? There should be a difference there where you go, oh, you know what? I'm not going to go with medium armor penetration for this run because I feel like there's going to be a lot of little bugs or whatever. But at least I know that these weapons, the ARs, do a better job at clearing light armor enemies. Does that make sense? Because if there's a weapon that does everything better than the ARs, why are you going to pick the ARs? Yeah, it's clear as day to me that the damage is much better. Like, I don't quite understand why they dropped the magazines, right? I don't think it needed it. You know, I think it was it would have been fine. These weapons, ARs, will not feel OP because they have a little bit more ammo. They're just not going to feel more OP because, you know, there's always going to be the factor that they don't destroy medium armor, you know? Chargers are in hiding. We'll find them. We'll find them. It's always like this. When I need a charger, they're never there. When I don't need a charger, there's like thousands of them. <laughs> they're everywhere, bro. When I don't need them, they're everywhere. Oh, you know what? I got I got a little something for these guys. Here, guys. Enjoy. See ya. Lima with a tier 2 sub for four months. Let's go, man. I appreciate the love, Lima. As always. There we go. A charger chat. We found a charger. We found a charger. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a resupply here. Oh, get the reload. So the goal here is to stun the charger. That's what we're going to do and go for the tail and see if we can destroy him in uh, maybe one mag. That would be nice, right? We're going to let him. Should we take care of the other guys first? I think so. I think so. They're going to be annoying. I'm going to take care of them really quickly here. Not shooting him just yet. Kill these guys so they don't call in some uh, reinforcements, you know. Get the reload so we have a good idea how many shots we're going to need. Get the 
stun going. Another one. Oh my god, They're, they can be so annoying. Dude, you wouldn't be able to do this, not even close to this, before this change. Not even close. That is actually really fast for a primary. For AR, especially for AR. I mean, that's fast. Seven shots? Bro, that is good, bro. That's good. Just, just seven bullets. So if you're hitting it, it's like, what, two shots or something? For a headshot? Yeah, it was like two bullets. Oh, he's going to destroy these guys, though. You don't even have to go for the headshots. Just destroys these guys. Once you do connect, easy kill. Yo, Quotes, what's up? Might as well run Sickle against bots. A lot of people don't like... I'm a big fan of Sickle, but a lot of people don't like Sickle. Because of the delay, which is really weird to me. I feel like it's such a good gun. Yeah, two shots for a headshot. If you're landing it like that, it's literally two bullets. Get some shots in. Get around again. I mean, for an AR, that's actually nice, man. That was just, just a few shots, right? It wasn't even a full mag. I would 100% love to hear your thoughts on this right here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same here. Yeah. I mean, is this going to be the best option against bots? No. I feel like it's in general, when you're playing against bots, anything that has medium armor penetration is much better. So in this case, if you're playing bots, I would go for plasma weapons, right? Which is going to be the plasma shotgun, the scorcher, all those kind of weapons are simply going to make it more easier, more comfortable to get the easy kills, easy wins, easy mission clears, and so on. Overall, it felt 10 times better against the bugs for sure. And you can see that the increase of damage also helps with the bots in terms of taking out the easier robots to kill. And even the devastators, as long as you're going for the headshots, this is going to feel 10 times better on mouse and key, by the way, against the bots than it does feel when you're playing on controller, which I'm playing on controller right now. But overall, a great change. I do think that all ARs should be at around this damage. They shouldn't be less, especially the ones that do not have medium armor penetration. I think that will move them up a little bit. And I don't think that they should be afraid to keep the ammo economy a little bit higher. So don't nerf those magazine sizes and don't nerf the amount of magazines. There's just no need for it because these weapons are still not going to be OP. They don't have medium armor penetration. We have Sickle, for example. It doesn't have any kind of ammo issues and it's still not, you know, overpowered or anything. It's just a great option. And I feel like the ARs can be at that spot with a little bit more changing. And this is a great start. The damage is great. That's all I'm going to say. The damage is absolutely great. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! I mean, we literally have the best community of all time. Oh! Oh, we got no scopes!